As a specialist skin cancer dermatologist, I am able to diagnose and treat all types of skin cancer. People come to see me if they're worried about a changing mole, or if they're worried about a blemish on their skin which isn't healing, it's ulcerated, it's tender, and often the GPs will refer to me for a second opinion. In terms of treating skin cancer, a lot depends on obviously the type of skin cancer it is, and it's very important that a specialist such as myself is able to make the diagnosis to instigate the earliest treatment at the first available opportunity. Mohs surgery, also known as Mohs micrographic surgery, is a very highly specialised technique of removing skin cancers primarily from the face, whereby the surgeon, i.e. myself, uses a microscope to remove and trace out all the roots of a skin cancer while keeping the hole as small as possible. As a consequence, when it comes to the plastic reconstructive surgery, which I'm also trained in, it allows patients to get the best cosmetic outcome after their surgery. The first stage of Mohs surgery involves marking out the edges of the skin cancer I then remove the skin cancer with a very narrow margin. The tissue is then processed in my laboratory. I then have a look under the microscope once the slides are ready, and this allows me to very accurately map out if any roots of the cancer remain. If roots of the cancer remain, the patient comes back into theatre, and I take another layer of skin just where the cancer cells were, and leave the uninvolved healthy tissue. This process is repeated using the microscope until I am 100% confident that the cancer roots have all gone. I then fix up the hole using plastic surgery techniques to make sure my patients get the best cosmetic outcome. In Mohs micrographic surgery, I am one of Europe's only fellows of the American College of Mohs Surgery, which bears testimony to my particular training and expertise in this type of surgery. I perform more cases of Mohs surgery in Yorkshire than any other surgeon, and it's very important that when people are seeking out a Mohs micrographic surgeon, that they look at that doctor's qualifications and expertise in this very highly specialised technique. The Mohs surgery as such, when I read about it, I thought, this is what I want. And luckily for me, I found the guy that I believe is the best. The Mohs surgery, it, he uses only the smallest of holes to remove the tumour. That keeps the scarring to a minimum. Well, I was very pleased. It, it wasn't as painful or as worrying as I thought it was going to be. And the scarring is minimal. In fact, when I went to see him recently and showed him my hand, he couldn't remember which finger he'd taken the lump from. The staff and himself were brilliant throughout the day. They were just so helpful and so reassuring the whole time. It was a nice feeling to know that at the end of it, it had got the right result. He decided that when he was removing the basal cell carcinoma, to take the flap from the forehead. You don't see anything, do you? It's just like a normal nose. It's unbelievable and uh, the skill he's got is just tremendous, absolutely. Mm -hmm.